Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, we're going to walk through a good long shotgun streak in Modern Warfare. I think you're going to get some value out of it, so let's go do it. All right, for those of you who didn't see a similar video I did for Halo previously, which did well, uh, that I just posted an uncut running riot. In this, I've decided that I'm gonna basically live commentate a streak that I had in Modern Warfare with an R90 shotgun. I think you guys will get some value out of watching a streak and understanding the decisions and the tactics that I use to get there. So this is kind of a Wheezy's War College light. Um, so let's just switch right over and get right on into it. I was running a shotgun in this because I was trying to complete some challenges. Um, so you'll see me doing something with the R90 I don't normally do, which is reloading constantly, like almost after every kill, because the ch one of the challenges I was trying to complete was getting kills after reloading. It's one of the camo challenges. Oh, I'm doing there. Um, but the interesting thing about this is how these streaks go together. So there, you see, there's that peak where you see people and then you want to re-peak with the shotgun. Now with the R90, I've said this before, I did an R90 tactics video before, way back when. You always double pump the R90 shotgun. But more generally, you have to change your play style when you're using shotguns. You don't have to, but if you don't, you're not going to do well. If you, play a, if you play a shotgun the way that you play an assault rifle or a sniper rifle or an SMG, um, you're not going to have a great time. SMG might be close. But with the shotgun, what we're looking for is close engagement. So you'll see me navigating through the map here so that I don't put myself out in the open very often or for very long. So I'm also keeping a really good eye on where my teammates are. So there you'll see me get a reload. I got an assist on that. Um, but here I'm see how I'm navigating nearby corners because that way anyone who can see me is automatically a close range engagement that I should hopefully be able to win. Um, you'll also notice the use of audio is very helpful in Modern Warfare, so I can hear footsteps when people are close. That allows me to pre-aim where they're gonna be, and as soon as they appear, double pump, just get them, just kill them as fast as I can, so. This ends up being, I think, an 11 kill streak or something like that, but a, what I want you to take away from a streak like this is that it's tactics over gun skill most of the time. You will see some players who can turn bad decisions into really awesome streaks just by pure gun skill. I guarantee you, even for the top players, that is uncommon. It is much more likely to consistently play well by using good tactics, good strategy. Um, so for instance, here as I'm capturing this point, I know that since I'm away from my team spawn, people are going to be coming towards me, which is what I want. So I'm cautious about how I'm doing the capture. I didn't sit on the flag where I could get attacks from all different directions. I started capturing it so that people could be drawn in, and then I moved to a position where I expected them to come from to kill them, buy a little bit more time to get that capture. The idea here, again, was for me to get kills with my shotgun, not so much to, uh, I don't know, not, not necessarily going for the most tactical or strategic capture, um, but while doing that, drawing people in to my shotgun range. So here, as my streak's drawing to an end, I killed that guy here. I know there's people out there, and I was waiting for them to come to me, and instead, they saw, you can see there's two of them there, they saw that I was there, and, uh, and they cooked a grenade, and that's why I lost. So it's important during a streak to not just pay attention to why you're doing well, but pay attention to what ended your streak. Why did I die? So in this streak, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kick it off one more time since it's a three-minute streak, like 11 kills in three minutes. Pretty pretty fast streak. Um, it's important to understand not just how to play well, how to get those kills, but also what you did that cost you that streak and what you could do better to improve next time. So for instance, I was waiting there for an inordinate amount of time. Uh, you'll see me do this sometimes in videos and I'll call it out where I'll be sitting waiting for someone to re-peek or to come around a corner and I'll even say out loud, I'm waiting here too long, right? That's where I was there. I killed a guy, I heard someone else nearby there and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait for them to come to me, which waiting for maybe two or three seconds is a good idea, but I waited indefinitely, right? I waited four or five seconds and by the time 
you know, they didn't come around the corner, he'd already had two or three seconds to cook that grenade so that as soon as it bounced around the corner, I was done for. He even could have cooked that a little bit longer and got me even faster, but um, he got me nonetheless. Uh, so that's important to know. So I'll keep going through this. Um, here I'm listening for footsteps, making sure that I'm getting these close engagements. Here I'm out in the open a little bit, but I wanted to try and get that kill. Um, see, you can see here I'm limiting where people can come from, listening for the audio. Uh, I get that kill, I hear reload, <laughs> constantly reloading for that challenge. I hear these footsteps, get that kill. He got shots on me first actually, which is, you know, he probably heard my footsteps since I don't have dead silence right now. Um, and I there I just earned it and I activated it. So valuable if you're playing up close to be able to have your footsteps be quieter, whether it's walking to keep them quieter, sprinting instead of tack sprinting. As you can go down and keep yourself quieter, the better. The more advantages you can have in an engagement, the better. There, the reason I came and checked this room before going and clearing out that Bouncing Betty is I didn't know if the building was clear, so I didn't want to be standing there looking at that mine, trying to blow it up when someone came walking around the corner and shot me in the back. So I cleared the building first. Engineer helped me know it was there, so I didn't walk into it, and then I was able to go back and clear it out. Here I'm getting that flag cap, being aware that people are going to be trying to get drawn in. Uh, this one, I kind of heard something behind me and turned away right as that guy came through the door. Managed to come back and get the kill in time for that one. Um, got my kill streaks. I don't tend to like, in Call of Duty with my Harrier kill streak, I tend to wait till my next life to call it in unless I'm just on a really long streak and I find it'll help me if I'm deep in enemy territory. But uh, the R90 is a powerful shotgun, so I'm not necessarily showcasing anything here that's absolutely groundbreaking. And that's the point of these videos, is that these are things that you can do. These are not amazing wheezy skill moments right i kill that guy i clear out this mine the enemies know i'm there this is stuff that you can learn from and that you can implement it's not great gun skill right here so here just four five six seven i'm waiting there way too long for people to come in the corner don't spend a lot of time waiting it will end your streaks all right minions hopefully you got some value out of that. Hopefully this was a nice quick one, giggity, that, uh, that you could enjoy. That's what she said. And uh, if you got some value out of it, go ahead and leave me a like. If you guys don't like seeing me, what, I guess show off with a shotgun? It's okay, you can leave me a dislike. If you're not a minion, I gotta, I gotta wonder why you're not. You need to subscribe to become one so that I can teach you and we can have fun and I can mow lawns. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one.